heavenly Father, I confess my sins. I forgive those that have sinned against me. Father, you know that on the night I made this, I prayed that I would have one night a month where I could do nothing but sp but spend time with you because the night I made this video I could not watch TV so so father I ask I ask you to give please please give myself and every Christian on earth one night a month or one night a week where they cannot watch TV or use any kind of technology except for the devices that they read their Bible on. Give us one night a month, at least one night a week at most, where we can do nothing except read your word. Please. Give us one night a month or one night, or one night a week where we can do nothing other than other than charge the devices we have and read your word. Please give us please give us one night a week or one night a month where the only thing we can do is is charge the devices we use for the Bible and read your word. Please make it as make it as impossible as you possibly can for people to be able to call, text, or bother us. Make it as impossible as you can for us to be able to want to do anything one night a week or one night a month, but read the Bible. <laughs> and or li and or listen to Christian <laughs> music or or teaching. I forgive those that have sinned against me. I confess my sins. I also pray that I won't yield to temptation. And I ask you to not let your people get our mind off you or get distracted at, at all. Unless we are putting our devices on, on charge, getting a snack, getting a drink, or running to the bathroom. Let those be the only things that are allowed to distract us. When, when we get one night a week or 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 one night a month where we can do nothing except have time alone with you. I ask you to command every single distraction on that night to leave us and to never be able to bother us when that night comes up. Let those people that love us and want to talk to us be unable to reach us when we have that night along with you. Please, please also make that, I mean, I meant to say, please, please also make it as, as impossible as, as you can for us to be able to want to think of doing, of doing anything else except having time alone with you one day a week at most one day a month at least i ask this for myself and every and every christian in 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 in, in, in jesus holy name i ask this for myself and every christian who will watch this video in in 
In Jesus Holy Name, folks never thank me. Hebrews 13 says, The Lord will never leave us or, or, or forsake us. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus... Chapter 4 Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God... Command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan! For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. They're Heavenly Father, I confess my sins and forgive those that have sinned against me, bothered me, or made me mad. Please, please, give Christians one night a week or one night or one night a month from now on where we cannot do nothing but read your word or charge our devices. I also ask that you give us one night a week or one night a month or the only thing we can or the only thing we can Pardon me, folks, I'm having trouble speaking. Father, please give us one night a week or one night a month or the only thing we can enjoy doing or love doing is reading your word. Let the only exceptions be charging our devices. I ask this for myself and every Christian in, 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 in Jesus holy name. Folks, never thank me, no matter what, under any circumstance from now on, never thank me. 
And the servant abideth not in the house for ever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father. Heavenly Father, I confess my sins and forgive those that have sinned against me since, since the word of Jesus had no place in the hearts of those he was talking to in, in, in John chapter 8. That means, that means the devil's word can also have no place in, in the heart of Christians too. So, so, Father, I ask you to make it as, as impossible as you can for the devil's word to have any place in, in a Christian's heart. Please make it as permanently, irreversibly impossible as you can for the devil's word to have any position or any possibility to be in, to be in the heart of Christians from now on. I ask this for myself and every Christian on earth who is living now and who will ever live. In, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Folks, never thank me. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him. For he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Heavenly Father, I forgive those that have sinned against me, I confess my sins, please do whatever it takes to make Christians permanently, irreversibly unable to believe things that are not true and to believe things that Christians should not believe. I forgive those that have sinned against me, I confess my sins, I ask this for me and every Christian in, in Jesus' holy name. Heavenly Father, since, since your word says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by your word, please give myself and every Christian the desire to pray regularly that we will never sleep when we are reading our Bible. Please give me and every Christian the desire to regularly pray that none of your people will ever fall, uh, that, that we will never fall asleep or go to sleep when we are reading the Bible. <laughs> I forgive those that have 
sinned against me, I confess my sins. I ask this for myself and every Christian uh -huh. in, in Jesus' holy name. And, and, Father, since Luke 6 says, to love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them, and be not concerned that they might not, that they that they might not repay. Father, please also make it as, um, make it as impossible as you can for us to hate anyone, no matter who they are, no matter what they've done or could do, or have threatened to do. I ask this for myself and every Christian in in. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Folks, never thank me. And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children in all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their lord all that was done. Then his lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desiredst me. Shouldst not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. A servant of God, and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. To Titus, mine own son after the common faith, Chapter 3 Behold, 
I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from mine ordinances, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the... I bind the, des the, the desire and wish of Christians to talk when we should not. I forgive those that have that have sinned against me and I bind that desire to talk when we should not in in Jesus name I bind that desire in in Jesus name folks I'm sorry I burped holy brethren partakers of the heavenly calling Consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who hath builded the house hath more honor than the house. For every house is builded by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house, as a servant, for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ, as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do alway err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief, in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Do you need to unplug? Upgrade. So also Christ, 
glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, called of God and high priest, after the order of Melchizedek of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again which